While this handful of celebrities did the bare minimum of standing on the right side of history and calling genocide and ethnic cleansing the systematic extermination of a people wrong, yes, that's good, but that's like rewarding someone for the bare, bare, bare minimum of basic decency. That's like being nice to someone because they didn't murder you. Like that's the bare minimum. And the fact that so few people have the guts to come out and say something, we need to be pressuring these celebrities. If you have any celebrity that is not on this list that you know of, in their comments say, why haven't you spoken out about Palestine? You have millions of dollars, you have a public platform, you have security in your career, you're not an intersectionally oppressed person who faces potential discrimination from this. You actually have the power platform and privilege to make a difference. And you're staying silent? That's fucking embarrassing. I don't know about you, but I can't fucking support any of these celebrities that didn't come out and support Palestine. If you can't come out for the bare fucking minimum of saying genocide is wrong, if you can't come out for the bare fucking minimum of saying exterminating innocent men, women, and children is wrong, why the fuck would I want to support your movie or support your music or support your book? You see, support, love, it goes fucking both ways. And if you stay silent when my siblings are suffering, when you stay silent when I'm suffering, why the fuck am I going to show up for you? So put pressure on these goddamn celebrities because it's fucking sick. It's sick and twisted that we live in a society where this is all we have. This is all we have of the thousands and thousands of millionaires and billionaires and people who are so goddamn famous that they could literally change the perspective of the entire world. This is what we have. We have a few additions. Here's the full list if you'd like to see. Of the thousands and thousands of actors and movie stars and famous novelists and all the people in the entertainment industry, this is what we have. Small fucking handful of people who are brave enough to say genocide is wrong. While I am grateful for these people, I am fucking embarrassed that we do not have more people who are out and vocally saying war is wrong, genocide is wrong, killing people is wrong, ceasefire fucking right now, free Palestine, they should be having food, water, medical supplies, they should be safe, secure, and have the dignity to live their lives like fucking human beings. Because they are human beings, yet they are being constantly dehumanized and treated and treated as the scum of the earth when they are our brothers and sisters and cousins and family and friends. We are a human fucking family. And if you don't show up when some of us are hurting and dying and being killed and being persecuted, how can you ever expect someone to show up for you? You have the audacity to ask people to support you, to support your movie, to support your novel, to support your creative venture, and you won't fucking support people who are being ethnically fucking cleansed? That is sick and disgusting. You need to be putting pressure, you, the people of TikTok, the people who see this. Put pressure on these motherfucking celebrities because it is absolutely unacceptable for anyone who has money, power, privilege, safety, and security to not be coming out and saying free fucking Palestine. All of these celebrities who are remaining silent on this issue or are choosing neutrality, you need to be in their comments, on their videos saying, why haven't you spoken about Palestine? Why haven't you condemned the genocide? Why haven't you signed the letter calling for a ceasefire? You need to stick to these boycotts and you need to make your own voice heard. Listen, I understand intersectional oppression and I would never ask for a person who is intersectionally marginalized to put them in a place of precarity or harm. But at the bare minimum as a society, any free person, any free person with money, power, privilege, a platform should be speaking out. I would like for every single human on this planet to speak out. I would like for every person who is alive and can bear witness to this to use their platforms to speak out. But I recognize that some people are in such places of economic precarity, of social precarity, who already face such violent discrimination on a daily basis that it would be insensitive for me to ask them to put themselves in a place of potentially receiving more harm. But these fuck Fucking celebrities have no goddamn excuse. And we need to hold them to account. We give them all of our time. We give them all of our money. We give them all of our support for their music and their projects. We follow their every move. We bolster them up. We make them fucking millionaires and billionaires and celebrities. And we let them live in palaces because we give them all of our money. The fucking bare minimum we can do is say, you better fucking come out and say free Palestine. And you need to put pressure on our government to have a ceasefire right now. Because if we're going to spend our whole lives supporting you, you better spend your fucking life supporting Supporting us. It's a two-way street. Don't let them get away with not saying something. Study the names on this list, and if your fave isn't there, go to their comments, comment on their video, say, why aren't you speaking about Palestine? Study the names on this list. Look who didn't come out in support for Palestine, and go ask them why. Comment on their video, say, why aren't you supporting Palestine? Do you think their lives don't matter? Because the fact that this is all we have right now, 
shocking and sad.